Um, we're just going to give you a quick look at what the fruit's doing. Here's May 31st. And so this is our strawberry patch that's really doing fabulous this year. Like our kids have been picking lots of red strawberries and there's some in there right now. As you can see, and they're a lot bigger than they were last year. And over here, look at that nice cluster. So yeah, the strawberries are really doing phenomenal, which is amazing. And here's the raspberry, like as you can tell. This is amazing. It's going crazy, crazy. Hannah, you want to show us the cherries that you've been picking? Yeah. Now we're at our Rainier cherry tree. This is our sweet cherries, and they are ready. Already, this is May 31st. This is kind of early, but they're May ready. 30th. Oh, 30th. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> not, not the 31st. It's the 30th. I, for some reason, I keep thinking we're a day ahead. I don't know why. But, um, so they're ready. For, I mean, for the most part, not all of them. But, so Hannah has been picking some already. And she's going to show you. Oh, well, thanks, Hannah. That came perfectly. So there you go. A nice, sweet Rainier cherry. You can eat it. Yay. And they have pits in them, of course, but... Oh, give me the pits. So okay. I, we can start. We never got any of these. Last year, we did not save the seeds of this kind to start our own trees, but we're going to this year. So we're going to collect a couple of them. We'll get them cold for about two weeks in the freezer, and then we'll start them in the greenhouse. So we have a few more that things that we want to start in the greenhouse, some more fruit trees. So this is amazing. So we have one more of these trees over there in the front of the a driveway but it's younger so this is its yeah. first year and it's just starting to have cherries really yeah is that what i said where okay. here's it from the driveway oh yeah yeah In that one yeah oh. okay. and it's it's early i mean it's still young but this is its first year of having a few cherries Yay. so okay now we'll be right back to another tree all right so now we're at our um sour cherry trees and as you can tell, there's a lot of them. They're not ready yet because they're supposed to be red and a lot bigger, of course. So we'll get a lot of sour cherries. We normally always do. I don't think there's ever been a year these two trees have not produced. So um, now, because of the weather, I suppose, wasn't cold enough, even though I sure thought it was cold enough winter, but I guess not for the fruit. So the peaches, nectarines, and apricots we're not going to have any this year, so I guess, I don't really understand actually why, but that's okay. It's just because it wasn't cold enough days or something like that, but that's why. So we do have apples though, and we do have pears. Um, here's some baby pears right here. Baby pears. And then oh, here's some baby apples over here. And then, of course, up in the orchard, we have a whole bunch more pears um, and a few, a few more apple trees. So, that's about all for the fruit. And that's what it looks like at the end of May. Thanks for watching. Bye.